Larry Dixon and David Grubnick. How about Dixon? Can he back up a track record? Well, here's what that's all about. The Geico Power Sports Fractionary. Well, to set the national record, you got to run quicker than the national record, and that run has to be backed up within 1% during the course of the of the event. So you have all weekend to do that. Conditions right now, uh, not conducive, I think, to do that. Just as a, it's hot out there. Uh, the middle of the racetrack, they can't get after it through the middle of the racetrack, and that's where you make the elapsed time to run them quick ETs to pick up that, uh, you know, the opportunity to get the national record. So the whole reason for that, though, is in case you have some condition like a tailwind that helps, you make sure it's a real deal. Dixon as Grubnick goes away a 385 314 gonna have to find it in another round that's not gonna do it but he's got through the end of the day right yeah there's a bracket car there though I'm sure that's probably about what Alan Johnson was looking go down the this hot racetrack a 385 matches the one in the first round this run sets up a huge matchup between Larry and Corey McClendon in the semifinals you're not gonna want to miss that one because both these cars are really running well so that's the second round in top fuel. The semifinals will match up with Larry Dixon having lane choice going up again. Corey McLennathan with two wins this season. And Antron Brown, lane choice over Morgan Lucas when they come back in the semifinals of top fuel dragster here at Houston Raceway Park.